Hi guys and welcome. Today we're going to talk about wiring up devices in your house so that you can use a wall switch and a relay to control them. This will come in useful if you are interested in controlling your devices with either Alexa, a Raspberry Pi, uh, Wemos View on Mini, uh, any of those devices for home automation. We're going to use some relays like what we did in some of my previous tutorials. Uh, it's a simple, this one is a uh, simple relay that mounts on a D1 Mini and it has three terminals on the front there you can see. Um, we're also going to use a three-way switch. So if you have a regular switch in your house, which I mean most switches are just a regular two-pole, this one has three poles on it. Um, see 15, 20 amp three-way switch. So you're going to need that. You're also going to need some uh, Romex that has three wires in it. This is 14.3. Uh, 14 gauge is going to have three leads in it and this 14 gauge, if you're going to do it uh, at your house, you probably want 12 gauge, but I got 14 because this 15 foot roll is only 13 bucks and if I buy 12 gauge then that's like 30 bucks and I feel like spending that extra money just for a tutorial. So um, yeah, this one here is got a ground, this here is cardboard, the ground is wrapped in, in cardboard, uh, so we have a ground black, white, and red wires. And then we also have this Romex, which is 12.2. It's 12 gauge and you've got a black and a white and a ground wire. Um, and this is the Romex that is used in most houses for wiring up your electrical outlets and stuff like that. It's 12 gauge. So um, yeah, let's jump into it. Before we get started with the wiring, I want to go over how a three-way switch, uh, how a three-way circuit works real quick. So uh, the way a regular switch works first, just to recap for people who may not know, uh, you have a, a single switch here um, and it has two poles on it and when you switch it on or off, these are either connected or not. With a three-way three -way switch circuit, um, you have two switches. And these switches have a common terminal. They have a traveler and a traveler. There's a common, a traveler, and a traveler. And uh, let's see here. I'll get rid of this one. And then you have your your load here, which in our case we'll make it a, a light. And the light will have two terminals, or three actually. This will be white or common. This will be black, and this will be ground. Um, and you have main power coming in here, and this will be your your standard Romex, the the 12 gauge, uh, black, white, and ground. So these are usually these switches are usually in electro boxes. So if you have your main power coming into this box and then going into this switch and then going to the light in, in that series then you're going to have that 12-3 uh, cable the, the Romex with the black, white, and red cables and ground so it's got four total that's going to run between these two and then you're going to have a three lead wire another 12-2 coming in to this box um, so the power in here will have let's see here this is your, your 12-3 cable. This is your 12-2 cable. This is also a 12-2 cable. Um, and this one will have the black from here. We'll go to the common. And your, let's see this has a white. Uh, red, black, and ground. Your white from this cable will connect to the white from this cable. Your red from this cable and your black will play, put red here and black here. Um, and then this cable here, let's see, so on this end you also have white, 
red, black, and ground. And these switches also have a ground terminal here as well. Um, so black here goes here, red goes here, and then ground goes to the ground terminal on that switch. In this box here, the, let's see, I'll bring the white in, so it'll have white, ground, and black. The black wire on this, the, the, from the power coming in, will go to the common on switch one. So this is your common, this is your common. And on the switch, you'll be able to tell the common is painted black. Um, and that's where the black wire goes, at least on these switches that I've got here. Now the ground will connect here, the ground will connect here, this ground will connect go all the way around here, will connect there. Um, let's see, this black wire will connect to your traveler. This red wire will connect to your traveler on the switch. So, essentially what you're doing here, what this, what this is doing, I'll do a simpler diagram here. Here's your light. Here's switch one. Oh, I'll make it simpler than that even. Um, you got power in. Uh, let's see, this will be white. This will be ground. This will be black. So this is your, your 12-2 Romex. And your white will go straight to the white here. Your black, so this is ground, your ground will go straight to the ground. And then your black, here's one switch, here's another switch. Um, black is your common, black is your common, and then this is your two travelers between the two switches. So uh, we have a red and a black going between here. Now when you switch this switch on and off, it'll either go here or here, your connection will. So it'll only do one at a time. If you do it this way, then power will flow coming in, going to this one. And if this switch is switched on, then your electricity will flow and you'll have a circuit and your light will light up. If this switch is turned off, then there's no connection between the two travelers and you'll have no power going to your circuit, the light will be off. If this switch is left on and this switch is flipped the other way, then it's the same thing, it'll be off. So you can flip these independently and your light will go on or off depending on you know, which end you're switching it from. Now with our relay, the way we're hooking this up, it's the same principle. We still have a uh, common and two travelers. <clears throat> I'll grab the relay here. So we have three terminals here and the center one is our common. And then one of these is normally open and the other one is normally closed. What that means is when there's no power to this, then electricity flows, I believe, between these two. Um, and if a power is applied to the relay, then these two are connected. So the center terminal is always connected to either the right or the left, which is what this switch is doing here. You have the common, which will be our center on the, on the relay, and then you have the right or the left, which is one of the two travelers. So that's pretty much all we're doing. Instead of, instead of putting another three-way switch in here, we're taking this relay and we're making this behave like a three-way switch because it can switch between either one terminal or the other. Um, that's the basic diagram of how this works. Uh, hopefully this made sense and wasn't too uh, confusing. Uh, if you got questions though, let me know. Uh, once again, yeah, this is a 12-2 Romex. 
So basically, this kind of wire here. You get a black, a, a white, and a ground, which I have folded over. And this wire will run between to switch two, or in our case, the relay. Uh, 12-2 coming in, this will be the power in from your, your main panel, at least in the US. Um, you get the three wires, it'll go into your main switch box, and no matter how, no, I mean, no matter if this, this power comes into this box, or into this box, or if the power is in where the light is, because sometimes with house wiring, you'll have the uh, electricity will come into this box, and uh, you'll have to run your uh, wires to the switches. This is This is one configuration, I mean, you could have you could have power coming into this switch here, uh, and and um, then have to wire it to your light and your other switch. If that's the case, the main rule to keep in mind here is that power in, black wire, pick a switch, it doesn't matter which one. One switch will be switch one. Uh, black wire, power in, goes to the common on one switch. Black wire from your load goes to the common on your second switch. Um, white goes to white. Uh, ground goes to ground. Um, and then your two travelers are always connected together on your switches. So that's the main principle to keep in mind. If you can get, if you can get that, that uh, power always goes to the common on one of them and uh, black on your load goes to the common on the other. The rest of it gets really easy really quick. So we'll go ahead and uh, wire up. I already got this one done. So this is the finished product. Um, and this switch will control this receptacle and this relay also controls the receptacle. So we'll get jump on this and uh, show you how it's done. So I decided to take the uh, switch and the relay and the plug out of their boxes so that it's easier to see how this is wired. Uh, if this was run inside the wall, this switch would be uh, in uh, a light switch, I mean in a light box, uh, sorry, in an electrical box um, in the wall. And you could run this wire up into your attic or anywhere that you want to mount your relay. It doesn't really matter. And then this wire would go to your light um, or your wall plug or whatever it is you want to control. Um, so this can be mounted anywhere. Uh, if you're trying to tie this into an existing circuit. What you will need is a three-way switch. Um, so the way I have this wired, this this wire here that's coming in from the left is our power into the circuit, which obviously I don't have it plugged in at the moment. Uh, so the black wire from the uh, power into the circuit is going to the common on our light switch here. This is the three-way switch, so this is the common. So notice this has a, a, a black colored screw. Uh, these are the two traveler terminals here. Um, on this end here and they are both brass colored on this particular switch and then the ground is here so we have the ground wire coming in um, it's twisted around the ground wire from our four lead Romex that is going to the next switch um, to carry the ground into the next part of the circuit the red is going to one of the travelers and the black from our four lead is going to the traveler and the black from, yeah, I said this already, but the black from the power in goes to our common on this first switch here. Now the white from our power into the circuit goes straight into this four lead wire here to carry into the next circuit. Uh, so this relay represents our second switch in the circuit and the white wire connects directly into the white wire coming in from our load, which in this case is the wall plug. The red wire goes into one of the common, I mean, uh, one of the traveler terminals on the relay, and the black from this, uh, sorry, I've got messages coming here, I'm gonna have to mute that. Um, the, the black from our other traveler goes into the other traveler terminal on our relay. And then the black wire from our load, which is our wall plug, as you can see here, goes into the common on our relay, which is the center terminal. Uh, the ground wire 
and the white wire both connect to the ground and the white going to our load. And then on the plug, um, ground goes to ground, uh, white wire goes to the wide spade, black wire goes to the screw on the narrow spade. And that's, that's how this circuit is wired up. Um, that's all you need to do to control your uh, load, which, uh, let's see if I can demo here real quick. I have this light. I will plug this light into our wall plug. And I will plug our uh, power line here. This wire, I'm going to plug this in. Uh, let's see if I can back this up a little bit. I got this on my desk here. So you can see that the light is on. Got the light switch here. The light switch works to flip the light on and off. And let me grab my phone because I have an app that will turn the relay on and off. So this black wire here I just plugged in uh, is the power that powers the, the relay. Um, so now I will take my app, there we go, I'll do the light switch, there we go. So it can be controlled with either the relay or the light switch here. Alright guys, uh, hopefully that uh, helped you understand uh, how these circuits work and how to wire your own so you can control uh, anything you want with either a relay or a light switch. Let me hear what you think, leave a comment, uh, request other videos, I'll see what I can do. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.